Let's take a second and think about what the Switch 2 launch titles may possibly be. If you don't know, the Switch 1, the first Switch launch titles were, meh, they weren't that great. There were a couple of good games, but like 1-2 Switch, you know, Just Dance, okay, we're gonna move on. I formed a little list together of like games that I really do think that we're gonna see at the launch of the Switch 2, because I think in order for Nintendo to have a successful Switch 2 launch, they're gonna have to have some good games at the launch of the Switch because I don't think they're going to want the Wii U situation to happen again where this console may be called like the the Switch 2 or the Switch Omega whatever these you know people are throwing out there online and what I mean by the Wii U situation is when the Wii U came out people thought it was just like a Wii like remake like people didn't know that that was a brand new console so the Wii U was a big flop in in number of like sales and everything like that so, in order for Nintendo to, to capitalize on the Switch 2 release, I think they're going to have to release some crazy games at the launch so people will want to play those games and buy the Switch 2. Also, guys, I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 12,000 subscribers. I'm giving away a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card. And all you have to do to enter that giveaway is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below, and then stay tuned for future videos. And then I'll, I'll announce that winner at 12k subs. Right off the bat, I, I really think that Mario Kart 9 is going to be a launch title. Mario Kart 8 is... 10 years old now let that sink in it's 10 years old it came out on the wii u mario kart 8 is not even a switch game i mean i know that it's mario kart 8 deluxe and they changed some things about it but ultimately the game is a wii u game it's not fully completely genetically a switch game even though they have done crazy things with it on the switch like with the whole dlc with all of the new maps and courses and all that like that's great i think it's an amazing game Definitely the best Mario Kart game out there, but I think that they're going to release Mario Kart 9. I, I don't see them not doing a new Mario Kart, and they may even just call it Mario Kart 10. They may even just skip 9, because technically 9 was Mario Kart Tour or whatever on the phone, but that's not really like a real Mario Kart game, but it is at the same time. Anyways, I really do think that we're going to see Mario Kart 9. And if you still want to play Mario Kart 8, I really think that the Switch 2 is going to be backwards compatible. I think it's pretty much confirmed that it will be. I know nothing is confirmed technically, but like, why wouldn't it be? The Switch 2 is going to be like an upgraded version of the Switch, just as the 3DS was to the DS. You could play DS games on your 3DS, so it makes sense that we're going to get backwards compatibility on the Switch 2. So all the Switch games we're going to be able to play on the Switch 2. I I'm certain about that. I have a feeling that Pokemon Legends ZA is probably going to release on the Switch 2, and I think it's debatable whether or not it's going to actually be a launch title. I think it might be a launch title, just maybe, and the reason why I say that is because we don't have an official specific date for that release, we just know it's 2025, and like I said earlier, I think Nintendo's going to want to capitalize on, you know, games, titles for the Switch 2, and I think Pokemon is a, is a huge IP, and they're going to probably try to get some new sales based around Legend ZA. That's a maybe, that one's iffy. I definitely think Metroid Prime 4 is going to be a launch title because it's been in development for apparently like five years now. So the game is in far development and I don't think they're going to release it on the Switch with it being its last year because that's going to kind of tank the sales of the of Metroid Prime 4. You know what I'm saying? So I think that they're going to release this on launch. I think Metroid is a really big IP for Nintendo as well, and I think that Nintendo kind of favors Metroid. I feel like they, I feel like they really love Metroid, so I think that they're going to release that alongside the Switch 2 at launch. Another game that I think we're going to get on the Switch, but I also think it's debatable whether or not it's going to be a launch title, is a new Smash Bros. I'm pretty sure the Smash Bros. on the Switch came out in 2018, and it seems like roughly every six years ish we get one. So by the time the Switch 2 comes out, it's going to be about like seven ish years around there so i i think that they're gonna probably have it as a bundle this one i feel like would be like a a bundle with the switch in the same you know box where it's like here you buy the switch too it comes with smash bros you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying i really think that they also know that smash bros is a huge ip and especially smash bros uh, on the switch i think that really popularized the game like even more it was always a popular game like i'm not saying it was ever like a slept on you know, series, but I really think that they're going to capitalize on that too and release it alongside the Switch 2 on its initial release. There are also some leaks recently. I actually made an entire video about this, about Zelda Breath of the Wild is reportedly being remade as a launch title on the Switch 2, like officially leaked 
you know, you know, take that with a grain of salt. A leak is a leak, you know, so it might not be true. Um, so the whole thing about this is like, there's some source code that it's like, I can't remember exactly. I know I made a whole video on this and I can't remember. My memory is really bad, guys. But if you want to take a look at this, it's a couple videos down. I think it's two or three videos ago. And basically there was some source code saying like, switch dash Zelda dash U or O or something like that. And the O is something we've never seen before because that is referring to the new console and the Switch's console name was like U or something. I'm totally misconstruing this, but basically there's some source code referring to the new Switch console that we've never seen before. So it's officially leaked that the Switch 2 console has its own unique code name in, you know, source data and all of that. And apparently it's going to be a refreshed kind of remastered game where it's in you know 4k or just upscaled better graphics i think that's a great thing but i really hope that they don't release that game as like a 70 or 60 dollar game i feel like if they did release breath of the wild on launch release date of you know the switch 2 they gotta give it to us for cheap or even like a free bundle in or like an extra ten dollars or like if you want to buy it as a physical copy you know maybe like 10 or you know, maybe like 20, 30 bucks. I feel like 30 bucks is pretty fair for that. I can't imagine them doing that, you know, making us pay so much more money for Breath of the Wild when it's already been released on the Wii U initially and on the Switch. Like, Breath of the Wild was a Wii U game. It's not a Switch game. I mean, it is a Switch game, but it wasn't made for the Switch. It was made for the Wii U. And then we got Tears of the Kingdom, which was great. And I don't know if they're going to remake that. I would assume they probably would. I don't think that's going to be a launch thing, though. I don't think Tears of the Kingdom, like, remastered would be a launch title. Or at all. I, I really don't know. The game I definitely can see them releasing at launch is Mario Odyssey 2. Mario Odyssey was one of the most popular games on the Switch. I remember when the Switch came out, Mario Odyssey was, like, all the rave. You know, people were talking about Mario Odyssey, this and that. It was a great game. I really enjoyed my playthrough of Mario Odyssey. I think it's my personal favorite Mario, like, 3D open world style game. I thought that game was really, really good. And I could definitely see them doing this on the Switch 2 for a launch title. Because it's a huge name and people will instantly say, Oh my gosh, I love Mario Odyssey. Because we have seen nothing from Mario Odyssey since its release, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't think there have been anything like any news, any information about it. And it's a huge game, very successful game. It's a cool game. And I definitely think that we're going to get a, a Mario Odyssey 2 eventually, even if it isn't a launch title. But I, I'm pretty confident that it will be a launch title. But if it's not, then we're definitely going to get it on the Switch 2 at, you know, bare minimum. And the last game that I have on this list is some type of Donkey Kong game. I feel like they may do like a brand new Donkey Kong game, like a new title to Donkey Kong, you know, not like the Country Returns or um, like Don Diddy Kong Kart or whatever it's called. I really think they're going to do some new Donkey Kong open world style game, kind of, you know, with the idea of Mario Odyssey, kind of just similar to how that game forms, but with, with uh, Donkey Kong. I, f I feel like they're going to go down that route. It's been, I think, it's been a long time since we've had a Donkey Kong game. Like, I don't even know when the last Donkey Kong game is. I'm going to look that fool up right now. Apparently, the last Donkey Kong game was Tropical Freeze in 2014. So it's been 10 years since we've had the last original, like, brand new Donkey Kong game. They have to give us a new Donkey Kong game. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.